Hey guys, welcome to a video where today I'm going to be going through my 2019 calendar and it feels so weird because I thought this was going to be 2018 because I still haven't processed that we're in 2020 even though today is February 2nd. Here's my calendar from last year and I actually keep a calendar now starting th 2019 and I'm just going to be going through it. It's pretty, this video is pretty random but I just want to do it because I want to go through my whole calendar and like seeing like what was going on each month last year i already kind of went through it myself but i just want to do it on camera just because and as you can see mine is from seasons it's this right here this is january um february march we know what no i don't know i actually don't know we'll just see right here and let's open it up um my 2020 calendar, I have it right here on my wall, and, and I will be showing it to you guys until 2021. So, you guys won't know what my calendar is now, because this is for seasons, and then I have a new theme on my new calendar, which is really cute. That's just a hint, and it's like an animal. So, that's just all I'm going to give you guys, but you guys will have to wait for 2021, because obviously we're still in February, and we, I just finished, we just finished our first month of 2020. And it was really long, actually. It was pretty long. I didn't expect it to be this long because I entered school, like, on January, like, 8th. Even then, the month just seemed so long. And I was like, can it just end already? We open it up and it has this. Oh, wait. This is just a cover. So this is... Okay, I got it. January, February, March. Never mind, because what the heck. We open it up and I received the, this day of December 27th of 2018. And I even wrote it down. Like, I put receive this day. I don't think I spelled receive right. Yeah, I don't think I did. But I did it here. And then here is just last day of 2018. Let's start. I don't know what I'm going to see in this. And you guys here will just see, like, how much homework I actually get. Because I write it down here. This is, like, my planner, kind of. It wasn't meant to be a planner, but I just write down, like, stuff, important dates I need. I, I do have to cover up some stuff just because some of them is kind of like, I can't show it. Other than that, I'll show you guys everything. All right, so here's nothing to cover up, literally, you guys can see. So it starts off with New Year's Day, and then nothing happens, and then here I wrote... <laughs> oh my god, I wrote Stream Epiphany because I don't know. Clearly, Stream Epiphany. This is like my kind of like Christmas gift stuff. And here I wrote down, blue container means like, my bro like let me borrow his blue container, and then this is the day I had to return it. We'll start as you can see with this face right here and then again this thing is just kind of like the deals me and my bro made and then he wrote this here so then nothing happened i literally became like around this time here these numbers you'll see i marked them all to like the calendar um up until like may or like june pretty much because i was just so tired of like i just this is where i was just like tired of school and i was like i'm making a countdown like i don't care so i literally counted down <laughs> Look, right here on the whole, you guys will see it later, but I just counted down here. So this is, the 18 means like 18 weeks left, and then this, this just means like how many days. I literally just counted them all down. So here there's no school, because it's Martin Luther King Day, and then there's more stuff. So I'll just show you guys what this means. I just counted down the days, because I was just so fed up with school, and this always usually happens in January, but, um... Thankfully, it didn't happen this year, which is so weird because it usually happens for me. Like, one second semester hits, so January in school. Like, I'm just, like, so done. And I was done this time, but not to the point where I'm counting down. Not yet. Not yet. I'll start counting down later. But I literally started count down, counting down since January, so that just shows something. So here, nothing happened. No school. Here is where I had this speech due that I had to write. Um, I don't really remember that much, but this is what was due. Then here, I have another one due here, but I think this one was, one of these two was to memorize one, I think, maybe. And then one was to, like, make literally a speech, and then we had to present it. Um, don't remember which one was which, but one of these went horribly because the teacher literally kept telling me to speak louder, and I was like, I'm literally speaking as loud as I can, but okay. Um, here is February, February 2019. And then I wrote winter here, which is a marker, and then I don't know why I wrote this. Like, I just kind of got bored and did that. Anyways, here's another deal we had. Here I had a Spanish project due. My favorite, my favorite group at the Grammys. And then here was going to be a 
girl group debut. By the time day, it was the last day that we would have my teacher, the one that made me do the speeches in January. Um, he was leaving because he got like a promotion or something for a better job, not a teacher, like something better. And so he took it and he dipped. And then <laughs> there was no school on Friday, which this is coming up this year where we don't have school on Friday and on Monday. So then nothing happens. And then here again, no school. I wrote it down. You can't really see, but it says no school. They hope um, from BTS birthday. I wrote all their birthdays down. Here I just wrote, um, I was, see, I was still counting down here. As you can see, like all the, each week I had it down. And here was a girl group comeback. So they were just releasing a video. I remember that. I have a sad face. You can't really see, but I have a sad face because Cause I really like that teacher. In the end, like I thought I'd miss him more, but then I was like, nah, like I think I'm good. Here I counted down for spring break. The week before spring break, I was counting down the days. And then here I wrote, it's over once it was over. So here was another deal. I have so many deals in my bro that I just wrote them down. Here, oh my God. <laughs> I was a little rude. I just, I changed my mind. This was a debut of a boy group. <laughs> what the heck? Don't come for me, I'm a fan now. Another birthday for my favorite group and then here is where daylight saving begins which for me like i love you daylight savings because there is more light and i just love it when there's light and when the sun doesn't go down at 4 p.m here was spring, spring break i wrote it down and then school starts here that's when school started and that's when i wrote it's over and then here was another comeback for a girl group and then here is where spring begins like not spring break but like spring here I had, oh my god, I thought I had a fungus, but it turns out it wasn't a fungus. So we went to like the specialist and then he was like, it's not a fungus, you're good. This is a day I, I didn't go to school because I went to the doctor. And then continuing, my teacher left, right? He left. So we had a substitute for the rest of the school year. Each sub we had, she could only, like each sub, we had three subs throughout the year. And they could only do so much time because... That's what the district kind of tells them to. So this was the last day with the sub. And I honestly did This is my least favorite sub. I did not like her. Like, it was boring and it was just sad. And that's when I was like, I don't like this substitute. Like, I don't like her. So <laughs> I wrote last day with sub. And then it was this day, March 26th. And then we continue this uh, another comeback. I had, oh my God, I have this math project due. So what these numbers mean down here, for each day in school, like I have an A day and a B day. Last year, my favorite days were B days. I hated A days. And now it's the opposite this year. I hate B days and I love A days. I hated A days so much last year that I made a countdown for them just on its own. So I just, I made a countdown just for them. And you'll see it on the next month of comeback. I wrote it here because this one was already taken. I wrote Logan's birthday and then I wrote you. But I think Logan Paul is pretty irrelevant now. He kind of died in 2018 after that scandal. So a comeback for a girl group, which was right here. I wrote it wrong again. And then nothing here. And then here was just something which I can't really show. And then here was the comeback here. But this this little block right here was already filled up. So it says last day of what? Of the six weeks. And then I wrote BTS comeback. This was the Boy We Love comeback on Friday, April 12th of 2019. I don't know school. No school again, really? We don't have school? I don't know. This was a comeback, if you guys know. This is mainly like, all these comebacks are like from K-pop and this one was um, Fancy, which came out April 22. Here I had Spanish Project do, and I wrote it wrong. Here I had to go to the dentist. I think, I remember this day. It was Wednesday. Yep, I remember that day. It was raining. I know I did go to Sonic after that. I don't know what this one means. What does this mean? I don't know. Here I had a theater play for my school. Um. I don't like theater. I didn't like being there. In fact, I didn't choose being there in that class, but something went wrong and I think I'll explain it later. So something went wrong with my schedule. So even to this day, I still have to go and fix it even more just to see if I'm like right. I just need to cover these two up. But anyways, here I have the countdown again here and then another comeback here. Wait, countdown. So we are here now in May. I think my bro wrote subscribe to like his channel. So then I deleted it and I said, Subscribe to Frank the Bro, which is what you should do right now. And then he wrote this. That's my bro. He wrote that. And I hear it had the countdown. Um, this is really sad because I really actually liked last year and I still miss it. And I wish I could go back, but I can't. 
which is super sad because I actually like last year even if like I was counting down like I really liked it after like around March after like my teacher no after the sub left like I kind of liked it a little bit around like April here was the BBMAs and that's when BTS performed on May 1st they performed by We Love here was where um me and my sister went to a blackpink concert if you guys know them um they perform at coachella here is my fishy's birthday this is my dog's birthday and she turned five she turned five years old on may 15 of 2019 she's getting old which I, i'm a cry but anywho as you can still see like every single day of these had like a countdown and then the week here so here i have another um math project here was when finals begin it was like one kind of half week because here was when finals began and then here was no school. So it didn't really count as a whole week. But still we had like three days until finals on Thursday, Friday, and then no school on Monday. And then May 29 was my last day of school, which I had a little hat here. And then I had the countdown here. Um, After this, after finals week began, um, I didn't count down anymore just because I don't really count those as school days because we have like half days and I don't know if I'm making any sense here but I hope you guys can just kind of see a little bit I guess. Okay, y'all. So now we're moving on to June. Since here I have my name written down I have to block that. This is June now so not much is going on. Actually a lot is going on as you can see but here the school is over. We have summer started here. Nothing here. Nothing happened. And then here we had, okay, so here's where it starts. So since I didn't take this class, I've already explained it so many times, but here since I didn't, since something went wrong with like when they were doing my schedule or something, I was supposed to take this class, which is required. It's a required class, but instead they gave me theater. And that's why I was confused at first. And I never went, I never thought it was a problem until like my friends started like talking about this class and I was like, I don't have this class, but I, didn't, I never really thought it was like, necessary until like at some point we had to take a test for it and then i was like wait i don't even take this class like this is a problem take a state test and so i actually skipped that day because i didn't take it because so we went to the counselor and the counselor was like okay you have to take this class and you have to take this test so i'll just put you either you can take it next year so this year and take it with like one grade lower than you so let's say this is just an example. Let's say I'm in second grade. I'll just be with the first graders. That's just an example. I'm not in second grade. And I was like, um, no. <laughs> so then she was like, um, or you can take it as like summer school. So you have to go to like, in summer, you have to go to like summer school and just take it as a class. Pretty much as if I had like failed it. Pretty, like summer school is for people that failed it. And like need to take it again to get the credit and stuff. So I was like, I'll take you during summer school because I'm not, I, I skipped this class this year. What makes you think I want to take you next year? Because I always saw them getting projects and I was like, no, ma'am, I'm not doing that. So I took it in the summer and this here where I started. But here, this day actually where I live, the whole block lost like electricity. They lost light and stuff. They lost power pretty much. And so they canceled it. And then here was my first day of summer school. And I was like, pray for me because I was so nervous. But actually, I ended up really liking summer school. Um, not even going to lie, like I really liked summer school. Um, it wasn't that bad after like a few days. I really liked my teacher. She was really nice. And then she would actually play like my favorite group for me. And I just liked her. And since there wasn't many people, there was only two people. It was me and then this other girl. And most of the time the girl would just deep. So it was just me and the teacher. And so she could help me. Um, so I really liked it. That's it. Um, here was something I marked down. Here was another uh, debut. And here was, oh my god, I don't know why I wrote this. This is Trump's birthday, okay. A comeback, which I didn't like, another comeback. So here I had two comebacks, both of them I was just eh with. I didn't really like these two comebacks. This is a music video that was coming out June 20. And here's where I was going to take my final for the class I missed. And then here's another um, comeback by this um, soloist. And I really like this comeback. Then this one, um, this girl group came out here and I don't really like it. So June was pretty a kind of wacky year for me in um, K-pop because I didn't really like any of the releases that came out. This one was eh, 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 no, 
this one was a no like all of them were kind of just no here is my third birthday for my channel all right so i had to block these again um so here was a comeback of the soloist again um i did not like it didn't even add it to like my library or nothing here was when stranger things was coming out i really liked that day stranger things 3 was pretty good so pretty much summer school how it worked was i would have like one session in june and then another one in july so i would go like two weeks in june and then two weeks in july so i had a i had a break in between so that the whole time i had a break and so when i was with, with stranger things came out like i was in break pretty much kind of and then this is um session number two and so i wrote it down here and then we go back to here and these numbers what this means so i have this like huge book i had to read for the summer so what i did was i just kind of like put in like how many chapters i would read each day and i did it here and it failed so i would here was like five chapters each day which is so much and i was not doing that long story short it didn't work and then i ended up like doing it even smaller into like three chapters each day kind of just extending it as you can see here long story short i wasn't understanding a single thing from this book and i just decided to quit i was like no i'm just using spark notes and in the end it didn't even matter because my teacher just, we never even used it. I got a 70 on this thing and that was it. That was the only thing we ever used it for. Everything else wasn't a grade and I was just like, okay, cool. Because I didn't read it anyways. Ended up just not doing it. I quit reading it because I wasn't understanding a single thing. And I would just prefer using Spark Notes because I understand it better than the book, which I'm just wasting my time with. So here I wrote one month left for school. And then here was where the Lion King came out, um, the like real life version. Here was the day we watched the movie on Saturday. And then here, nothing else happened. Here was a comeback from Itzy right here. I think well, nothing much happened here. Um, here was the day where the Sentence 3 came out. And I put like, rest in peace because Cameron Boyce um, sadly passed away. So it was kind of sad watching the Sentence 3. And they even made like a, like in the end, they made like something for him which was pretty nice and yeah i watched the sentence three and then here nothing much happened i my bro here was messing with me he wrote something so i just deleted it anyways nothing much happened in the beginning and then here was uh august 19 was when i started my school year for this year and then there was two comebacks that day no it was one comeback that day and then the next day was another comeback i really liked the everglow comeback and i don't hear like last year summer here was um another comeback which i really did not like i really hate it and then nothing else happened later on oh actually here a comeback which i did not like again um by the series um this other guy from bts birthday then here was no school and then here was a math homework that was due and then <laughs> i wrote that i was happy again because something happened but anywho here is where a science project was due. Um, another uh, member from BTS's birthday. Here is where the science project is here. And then this comeback, which I really liked actually, from 17. And moving on twice. Um, this one is was okay for twice comeback. Um, it was feel special. And it's okay. I like it. Not better than fancy at all, but it it's good. Here is this guy's birthday and then it's um, boy group's debut-ish comeback I didn't really like. My best friend's birthday, like, it, <laughs> it's just this guy, you guys. Anyways, um, Jimin's birthday, no school. This was a giveaway, which I did not win. Um, comeback, I really like this comeback by TXT. And then this comeback by Monster X, I didn't, I mean, it was okay. Then this was another come i mean another giveaway which i didn't win and this was a project that was due this day i was taking a test and then this, this day was another science project that was due here is um, I, I made a countdown for thanksgiving break this is november daylight saving ends as you can see it says right there daylight saving time ends a lot of people think this is when it started but you guys are done come back for this girl group named g idol i really loved it it was one of my favorites and then here is another one from got seven um 
one of my favorites as well. And then here was a Spanish project was due and a math homework was due. And here's Dean's second birthday. He was born in November 9th. He was another comeback that was delayed because apparently they their show was like manipulated, which I mean we being new, but anywho's another comeback from K-pop Mama Moo. Um it was okay. And then oh my god, this day again. This is just like kinda for me. Thanksgiving break, EXO came back. If you guys if you guys know K-pop, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Um it was alright, it wasn't their best, but it was Eh, I guess. Not the best they could give out, to be honest. Like, knowing EXO seems like almost their debut, this wasn't really it. Alright guys, a bunch of stuff is going on here. This was the day until finals. I made a countdown. And then here it was Mama from... And then this was Jane's birthday from BTS. Here was when Spotify Rap was coming out. And then here was a comeback from Stray Kids. It was okay. This day was when another science project is due. As you guys can tell, like, I have a bunch of science projects. Um, I never checked this out. <laughs> oh my god, I wrote this for nothing. Okay. Then here was when they were coming back. Um, I don't think I ever checked this out either. Finals week right here. Um, and I bl I'm blocking it just because it has, like, the names of my classes. Then here is No School. And this is when uh, Red Velvet came out with Psycho. Which, I really like it. Um, I don't think it's as good as people are making it seem, but it is really good. I love it. Christmas break, and then here is some stuff. Another member from BTS's birthday, and this is when another group came back. And honestly, I didn't really like it that much. It was okay. And here, I wrote this on New Year's Eve, actually. I meant New Year's Eve, or maybe I meant 2019. No, this was, I wrote this in 20, the last year of 2018. And it is... 2020 new decade and that is it that finalizes everything i am out of breath you guys Just a bunch is going on here that was it for this calendar i love this calendar a lot i really like my new one too it's kind of the same a little bit not that much but it kind of has to do with nature as well as you can see i have a lot of projects do they're just projects you guys you guys i don't write down like due dates for like homeworks and stuff i'm starting to write down due dates for homeworks for this one class on my new calendar if I don't have that much time, you guys, it's, I mean, you guys already saw how many projects I have there, like, whether it's Spanish, whether it's science, whether it's English, it's just a lot. Because this is just from January 2019, because last year, in the second half of 2018, I have a lot more homework, I think, because my teacher left. So that's why they have that much homework later on in the beginning of 2019 from last year. But in 2018, I had a lot of homework. Like a lot more projects and then my teacher left and then the project kind of lowered down a little bit that was it you guys this is pretty long i don't know how i'm even going to edit this uh thank you so much for watching i know this is such a random video and my new slime video will be coming out not soon but maybe this month if not next month because this is already taking over my storage a lot happy 2020 it's already not going well with coronavirus but just stay safe you guys peace